When should Wizards step in to ban or unban cards to shake up the meta? Today is March 11th, and we just had our next big ban update. Today's episode, we'll talk about the rise of the new top deck and what is going to happen to this deck after the ban. Since December 4th banning of Fury and up the Beanstalk, we have seen a new deck rise up as the best deck in the format. When Fury was banned, Rakdos Scam or Rakdos Evoke was sitting at about 20% of the meta. In the three months since the banning, Rakdos Scam has been able to settle at a healthy 5% of the meta. Omnath lists that were utilizing up the Beanstalk have settled around 4%. In December, Teamer Rhinos, or Crashing Footfalls, was sitting at 7% of the meta. Since the banning, we've seen the deck solidify itself as the number one deck, rising up to over 17% of the overall meta. So why is that? Well, there are two current versions of the deck. The classic Teamer Rhinos, utilizing Shardless Agent and Violent Outburst to cast powerful spells for free. We continue to see free spells as a problem in the modern meta. But this time, we're casting Crashing Footfalls to make two 4-4 four, four Rhinos with Trample. Assuming there is no disruption, you're swinging for 10 damage the following turn, which is an easy 2 turn clock. The new 5 color version can be even scarier, with Leyline of the Guild Pack for mana fixing and Scion of Draco to help close out the game by giving all of your creatures Vigilance, Hexproof, Lifelink, First Strike, and Trample. It also focuses on Violent Outburst at instant speed to cast Rhinos on your opponent's turn. Not only could you Violent Outburst allow us to be able to cascade at instant speed, but you could also use Force of Negation to protect you from your opponent's responses. This instant speed interaction and increase of the clock is the main reason we are seeing Violent Outburst take the hit. Wizard talked about wanting to slow the deck down without getting rid of it altogether, similar to what we saw with Rakdos Scam. In addition to the Rhino list that were utilizing this instant speed cascade, we also saw Living End take advantage of this to bring back all of your cycling creatures from the graveyard. So what's going to happen to these decks after the banning? Well, their overall game plan will not change. Their end goal of casting Crashing Footfalls or Living End with a cascade card won't change. Players will just be doing it slower and adjusting mana bases to fit other cascade enablers. The number one most likely addition to Rhinos will be Ardent Plea. Players could utilize a Bant Rhino package instead of the Teamer by adding in cards like Teferi Time Raveler to build a little bit of extra protection. The trade-off would be losing out on a lot of removal spells like Dead and Gone, Flame of Anor, or even the Fire side of Fire and Ice. The five color list won't have to worry as much about changing cards around thanks to Leyline of the Guild Pack. The other previously used Cascade spells that have been used in the past and players could test out again are Bloodbraid Elf and Demonic Dread. Demonic Dread used to see play in Living End decks pre-Modern Horizons and Shardless Agent becoming legal in Modern. Now Living End has shifted heavier into blue, so in order to utilize Demonic Dread or Bloodbraid Elf, we'd have to have a shift not only in the land package, but likely some of the cycling creatures as well. Bloodbraid Elf saw success in Jun lists of old, and could also see success in the right package, but you have to be shaving down on three costs to be able to use it. Stuff like Force of Negation would be lost. What does this mean for the meta going forward? I was sad to see nothing unban, and the likelihood that we will see an unban announcement before Modern Horizons 3 is unlikely. The five color domain list will have the least amount of work to have to pivot into new versions. Decks like Yawgmoth, Amulet Titan, Murktide, Tron, and all the different domain variations will continue to be top tier decks. So be prepared for the next couple of months to see a little bit more diversity before summer when Modern Horizons 3 comes out and breaks the format completely. That's going to do it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed our little breakdown discussion about the ban announcement here and kind of explaining why this card was banned. If you like the content, please consider subscribing, following all that kind of good stuff. We are ramping up gameplay content here related to modern as well as more of these kind of history insight videos related to the modern format, especially related to the ban list. So thanks so much for tuning in and watching everybody, and I'll see you all next game.